Hey everyone, welcome to Virtual Breakout EDU. Come on into the YouTube live channel. Get yourself familiar with the YouTube chat. Most of you already are. Welcome, we're so stoked to have you guys here today to try to help us break out of this box. We think you can do it. Um, inside of the YouTube live chat, everybody, um, quick roll call. This will be a collaborative game and you can only do this if you all work together uh, and there's a lot of us. Um, so go ahead and throw in the chat your name, location, job title. A lot of you are sharing your Twitter handles as well. Um, really great opportunity to connect with other folks interested in Breakout EDU. So let's go to the chat for a second. Who do we have here tonight? We've got Jody, Ed, Kathy, Jamie, Courtney, Valerie, welcome, welcome. The chat is gonna move fast and furious tonight, everybody. Uh, and we are gonna be your medium for unlocking this box that's here before us. So um, if it's getting a little too crazy for you, it's okay, just take a breath, step back and um, contribute how you can. Look at all of us, guys. Um, we will copy the archive of this chat and send it out so that you uh, can connect with each other after the game today because it is going fast today. We've got Fresno, hey Karen. We've got Michelle, West Palm Beach, social studies, gifted facilitator, Marianne, welcome. We've got um, Lauren, technology coordinators, Cindy, hey Aaron from California, happy to have you. We got Alberta, seeing any other international folks. We got Australia, Jody, welcome, thanks for coming. New Zealand, Elaine. Teachers all around the world think they can break out today to win their own breakout EDU box, and we think you can. Awesome, thanks for sharing your Twitter handles, everybody. Keep those introductions coming. We're gonna keep going so that we can focus on getting out of our breakout box. Um, hey, Carla, welcome, thanks, Joanne. Sarah from Canada, very, very cool. All right, next up, if you came with a team, we were so excited to see on Twitter today and this past week, different teams representing, raise your hand or give a shout out if you are here with uh, somebody else, a colleague, a friend, a family member that you roped in tonight, um, share in the chat right now and come up with a hashtag for yourselves and you can share your progress on Twitter as well. Um, for instance, uh, we've got someone from Marshall Elementary, they might be hashtag Marshall Stars. Um, so represent any sort of team that you might be tonight. Let's see some hashtags come through because teamwork and collaboration is such a huge part of breaking out. Let's see what you got. All right, Margaret, GGUSD EdTech, very nice. SCCA hashtag dream team. Amy thinks she's gonna get this. Amy, I believe in you. Um, Tracy's hubby roped her into this. Very cool, Tracy. We like your hubby. Crest Fam Four. Uh, we've got Nebo EdTech. All right, Charles. Oh, two. Look at Charles and Miles are together, and Miles raised his hand. Uh, Susan Loveland Tigers hashtag Kelda Marianne. Dan, hashtag changing minds. I love it, everybody. Um, if this is your first time making a hashtag for yourself, you can leave today um, with an even stronger hashtag and get it out there. Jody Chanel College. We just made a new one, hashtag Breakout Canada. Very cool. All right, folks, um, thanks for representing. Keep those intros and keep those uh, representations coming uh, forward. We've got work hard for tech. Hubby roping, Brian says. <laughs> uh, hashtag what makes KW great. Um, thanks, Maria. And thanks, Maria, for tweeting. Uh, and Maria Galanis uh, also doing some really great stuff, with, which we'll talk about here after you guys break out, if you break out. And it's OK if you don't break out. Um, Wendy, hashtag tech geeks. More hubby roping. I love it. What about wifey roping? Where's our wife ropes? There's got to be some hashtag wife rope. <laughs> It's okay, hashtag we are lost, it's okay. If you feel that way, this is a dis an area of discomfort um, and this is where learning happens. So embrace the hashtag we are lost. Um, yay, we got a wife. <laughs> all right, hashtag tryhards. Oh my gosh, I could just do this all day. Um, but we gotta get uh, Mark introduced and uh, into this box that is 
on the screen right now. This is what we're going to do. All right, first of all, drum roll, everybody in the chat. We have two breakout EDU boxes to give out tonight or this morning if you're in Australia. The first one was our winning pre-tweet. So if you share and it's eligible to win the first breakout box, and our first winner, hopefully they're in the chat, but it was uh, at SD34 Cochran, uh, Nicholas Cochran, are the odds in our favor? And he tagged Miss Book Geek, Hockey Dad, JK, not Hockey Dad, uh, <laughs> at ATM Sabres, hashtag breakout EDU. So Nicholas, are you in the crowd tonight? If you are, um, you can just, we will um, send you a tweet and get you the information to get you the first breakout EDU box of your very own. Oh, yay, Brenda. Brenda Mallory to represent for Nicholas. That means that you will be partaking somehow in the fun of breakout if Nicholas won it. Hey, Marianne, thanks for coming. Hey, Brenda, welcome. All right, that was our winning pre-treat. But if you are sad that this was not you, it's okay. That was a random pick. Um, there is still time for you to win tonight. The way to win tonight is you have to break out. Uh, and then we'll share with you how you're eligible once you break out tonight. Perfect. Hashtag wishing I won. It's okay, Kimberly. We're going to channel that wish into reality. Here we go. Next up, how to play virtual breakout EDU. So go ahead and share in the chat, folks, if you have played breakout EDU before. You can share if you've played a physical breakout EDU before um, with a box and with locks, or if you've played digital breakout EDU um, using online locks or the app. Um, or this is brand, brand new to you and your hashtag I am lost. That's totally okay too. So give us a quick shout out and let us know your background with Breakout EDU before we begin. Joanna is not gonna miss this shot, hashtag Hamilton. Lots of physical, lots of both. Never played Heather, that's okay. We got Noob, uh, Miss Spicer, you played at ISTE, you've played both, newbies. This is perfect, everybody. So if you are a newbie, um, you can look for anyone on in this chat who is not a newbie and uh, sit back and just take it all in if you want, if this is super overwhelming. If you're somebody who said you've played both before, you've played a ton, we're looking at you. We're looking at you to uh, see how does this translate virtually? How can you help communicate and collaborate when you don't have a voice? Um, this will be interesting to see. Jeffrey, never played before. Totally okay. Um, brand, hashtag brand new. Um, Nina just hosted 10 physical rooms for kids over spring break. You can do it, Nina. We got this. Katie, you have eight boxes in our district. Awesome. The more the merrier. Um, Liz, you tried Macbeth and senior English. They didn't break out, but still fun. Cool. Thank you guys for sharing. Let's keep going. Keep the sharing going. The chat will continue to, to roll. Um, a few notes. Um, I'm going to have our friend Mark Hammonds come on and just give us a sense, since we have some newbies in the virtual room, um, what is Breakout EDU? And uh, since we're doing a virtual one, we are not doing digital, we're going to actually have you walk us through and um, help us get into this box uh, that's actually physically here so that you can see what it looks like to break out of a real box. So, Mark, can you tell us a little bit about what is Breakout EDU and the components of it? Yeah, thanks, Wendy. Um, I'm assuming you can hear me okay, right? Yep, perfect. Perfect. Yeah, so uh, Break It EDU is uh, an immersive learning games platform. So what we uh, do is we take um, and try to foster uh, the four C's in uh, in the classroom. So much like, uh, you know, similar to the escape room type uh, phenomenon or whatever, instead of uh, locking kids in rooms, which is supposedly bad, um, what we have uh, come up with is the idea of a physical box and with all the, the features you see there on the screen, so there are uh, five different locks. There's a, a, a couple of different multi-locks. One does directions, one does uh, letters, and then we have a key lock, a four-digit lock, a three-digit lock. All those things are tied around different games that have puzzles and clues that the kids have to use critical thinking, collaboration, and communication in order to essentially open up the box. And so every one of the 500 plus games that we have on our website have uh, different curricular components tied to it, but it's really about fostering the four C's in the classroom and, and developing those soft skills in today's learners. Awesome. Thanks, Mark. 
Um, awesome and great to see in the chat folks sharing um, different experiences of using it. Um, 30 boxes, hashtag 30 for Lindsay. Cool, let's keep cruising. Um, how to play a breakout EDU game. Um, oops, and we have James on here, but it's gonna be Ask Mark. So it's very similar to um, how you might do in a real uh, real environment. The only thing that we'll ask is uh, you'll, you're gonna get a link uh, at some point, hopefully, to some digital clues. Um, you'll need to communicate in the chat. So make sure you communicate, say what you're thinking, don't be afraid, you don't have to have the answer. Um, and then you're gonna ask Mark to uh, test out what you think you know, and don't be afraid. Um, we, we'll give it out as we see it in the chat, we'll try it out and see if it works. Um, and you can think of ways that you can take notes or work on it or make adjustments uh, virtually. And then finally, um, the main goal is to help Mark remove all the locks from breakout edu kit before the timer runs out so there we go thank you mark so as you can see here we've got our first setup we have a couple of boxes and some locks um so maybe i'll just have you really quickly mark can you just show so they know what locks uh we're playing with today it looks like before we set up the stage for why we're breaking out of here it looks like we have a three digit, perfect. We have, we have two boxes here. So we've got the large box and the small box. The small box has a three digit lock. And then on the big box, we have this uh, lockout hasp. And then on the hasp, there is a one of the word locks. So we're gonna go and put the letters in here across the bottom. There is a four digit lock over here. And then also another three digit lock. So a total four locks, two boxes. Perfect. All right, um, next up. Just a few tips for success, work together. Um, so if you were hashtag Marshall Stars or hashtag uh, CCSD, um, if your teammates on here, uh, work with them and other people to um, communicate about what you're thinking. Um, and if you solve a puzzle, maybe you're working on it on a notepad next to you, or you're doing your own line of research on another tab and Google searching, um, let, let someone know if you think you have it. Um, and we'll go from there. And then you will have a couple of hint cards, so you want to come together as a team if you want to exercise those two hint cards today. But we're gonna be democratic. We won't just take it if one person says we wanna do the hint. You guys are gonna come to a consensus as a virtual team but I have no doubts we can do this. All right, let's set the scene, folks. Um, first of all, let me get our clue up and ready. Give me one second. Here we go. Awesome. So setting the scene for today, everybody, you may have gotten an email with today's first clue in it. Um, if you didn't, no worries, we just didn't get to your email in time. Um, happy World Theater Day. Um, and if you saw our first clue, um, you'll know that we have a problem getting to the theater tonight. Uh, if only you knew where to go. So I'm gonna share my first clue with you guys, and then we're gonna start the timer. One second, guys. So. All right, so we have 45 minutes, folks. Um, you have your two hints on here. I'm gonna start the timer here and then I'm gonna reveal the first clue. From there, um, I'm gonna, Mark and I will be your medium, so I'll still be here moderating and looking at the chat and um, telling Mark what to do to try to get out. But let's share your first clue, folks. Here it is, and then I'm gonna start the timer. Here we go, guys. Hang on. All 
All right, folks, we are off. The first clue is on the screen. All right, we have some uh, first guesses on the screen. Uh, let's see what we got. Paula, we have 222 Southwest Clay Street. Charles thinks maybe 246. Travis has 222, 222. All right, I think, I'm looking at it, Mark. I'm seeing a lot of 222s, so can you, and then in the chat, can you tell us which one you want us to try it on? We've got the small box, we've got the, uh, the large box. Which one should Mark try it on? Eva says first three digit lock. Wendy says small box. Yeah, let's go with the small box, Mark. There's no I'm not cheating here. Line it up and we'll go with two, 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 two. Uh oh. I got the first one. All right, we got the first one, folks. What is inside of this box? Nice job, everybody. All right, what do we got inside, Mark? Oh, there we go. Looks so we got a URL to go to, bit.ly forward slash virtual breakout. If somebody might want to type that into the chat so you guys have it in your uh, record. All right, English with Miss Hanson in the box. We've got a piece of paper uh, is leading us to a URL. There you go. And we'll load that URL. Yep, Marianne, 222, open the little box. It sure did. Nice work. You got your first clue passed. Thank you, Tracy. bit.ly slash virtual breakout. And you should. Perfect. I love how Robin is uh, narrating for us. We've got four items in the Google folder. It says globe for the word lock. Yeah, do you want to try globe out? Um, I don't think there is no G on the first one. All right. So we got K L M N O P R S T W. So globe would not work, but it's a good guess. All right. Thanks, Mark. All right, we've got. 484 for the second three-digit lock. Was it 484 you said? Yeah. For the drawing, that's looks like that's the year. Eight, four. Oh, that was the second one. All right, sweet. We got another one, guys. All right, looking at the chat now, there's a few more things, 500, all right, four, so just to recap, we have solved 484 for um, the year, I think, of the first award, um, and then we have for three-digit, cool, some people are looking at the quote, we have 1613 for four-digit, please, 1613. So when the globe burned down. One, six, one, three. They're good with the numbers. They got the numbers down. Oh, so man, good. you guys are firing through. All right. So let's recap what we got left. Uh, we've got just one word lock left. All right, cool. 
Let's see what we got. Moana for five letters, says Tracy. All right. We've got, is Moana work? Or Henry? And there's some agreement on Henry. Henry. I don't think there is an H. No, nope, no H on the first. All right. So it looks like folks are looking at the quote. Um, Moana. Tony with a space at the end. Oh. No, A, is it M-O-A-N-A, -A, right? I should know this. Yeah, there's no A in the third slot, regretfully. We got Manuel, Greek, Katie says Tony's. Um, no. no A on the second one, I missed one. You said Tony with an uh, Tony, we had Tony with a space at the end. Oh, there is no space. Uh, Tony's with an S. Or stage. N. Two and Y, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh oh. <gasps> you guys. So now the real question is what's inside the box here, huh? All right, let's see. Does anyone want to take a guess what is inside the box? Stage, actor, more clues coming in still, cool. <laughs> Are we waiting Four, for it? Nice you guys, you did it. I'm gonna stop, hang on, let me stop the timer because this officially is the time of this group. 37.58, nice work. Here we go, what's inside? <gasps> Hamilton tickets. We're gonna go, you guys. Oh, let's go. Nice work, everybody. Um, I would love to right now, if someone I'm looking at the chat, congratulations, guys. We're going to see Hamilton. Hashtag Hamilton tickets. Um, so we'd love to. Oh my god, Sonia, you're right. There's a few people who this went by really fast for them. Can we share a little bit about each one of the clues and maybe how you guys uh, solved it? So go ahead and share. Let's do. Let's start with the first box. Does anyone want to share in the chat the first small box with uh, the three digits? How did you? Which clue did you guys use to solve that? You're right, Nora. There's lots of smart people in the room. Nice job, Amy. Your first virtual breakout. Hashtag Breakout Canada. Lindsay shared Tony's, the name of the award that's given in that theater. 222 was the address to the Hamilton play in Portland. So if you are setting up a breakout for the first time, um, when you go to breakoutedu.com and sign up, you can get access to all of these games such as this. And you can um, get a series of these locks to set up um, within a story such as Hamilton tonight and why we're going to Hamilton. Uh, but in this case, uh, the address was Keller Auditorium in Portland. You're absolutely right. Um, great, Jody. Any other strategies for how you guys did that so quickly? It looks like, and you can see in our clues, you can adjust how hard or easy you want it to be, right? So we made it um, a little bit easy. Uh, we made it a little bit easy with uh, highlighting things like Keller Auditorium. We highlighted where. You can totally make it more difficult as you're choosing your games if you know your crowd. Um, and maybe this is our first time to break out. We were doing a first virtual, so we wanted to make it pretty clear for you guys. Um, that was super fast, though. You guys definitely blew us away. Um, let's look next. We had um, the, how about we'll do the four digit locks? So, 16, 13 jumped out at you because 16 and 13. Let's see what else we have on the four digit, or sorry, if we're doing 16, 13, what clues helped you guys get to 16, 13? Um, thanks, Mariah. Um, 16, 13 was the year when the Globe Theater burned from the cl um, clue document. 
right? So there was the clue with um, the picture of the Globe Theater and then the quote about fire. Again, you could uh, you can hide these around the room. We put them all in a folder, but you can adjust your difficulty um, when you're face to face for sure. Cool. Um, how about our 484? Do you guys want to share that one? It was a different font on the file. <laughs> uh, that helps if you're a clue clue maker. Thanks, Lacey. Numbers from the article. Great, Jackie. A great way to um, get students to make connections. Justin, you're right. It may be a bit hard with the chat. So, um, but we're definitely playing around and seeing what it's like. Um, you can certainly look through the chat later uh, as well. Cassandra showed how 484 came up. Oh, great. So you had 15, 500 BC plus 16 years of waiting for the win. Perfect, Jill. Thanks so much. So you'll see here, this is a really good example of group size as you're deciding what group size you want. Um, Justin's brought up a good point that the larger your group size is, the harder communication can be. Uh, Mark, did you want to share a little bit about when you choose group sizes for breakout, um, what are the choices that you come up with, or and also other people in the chat as you're deciding if you want your whole class to do it, if you're going to do it in small groups. Um, let's chat a little bit about group sizing. Yeah, I mean, uh, as kind of a general rule of thumb, all of the break ADU games are kind of geared towards an audience of like, you know, 10 to 15 at most with a single kit. Uh, just because of the communication and people clamoring around the box trying to open it up and everything like that. So, you know, that's what we kind of use as a general rule of thumb. And actually, uh, later this week or early next, we're going to be releasing our first two-kit game, which is going to be a sequel to um, Time Warp. It's going to be called Time Warp 2. Um, and so it's going to be utilizing two different kits. So it's going to be geared towards a larger audience of a full classroom size where everyone is playing the exact same game, but just layered into different fashions. Awesome, Mark. Um, looking in the chat, it looks like we have um, a few uh, thoughts. Lauren likes to break her students up into groups of five. Um, Valerie's done a virtual breakout with second graders all together to learn the process, then small group breakdown. Carla's not, never tried more than four. Um, oh, I like that Therese can divide clues into the box amongst members, so each group is solving for a lock code. So all really great ideas to play around with group size and groupings, for sure. Awesome, okay. Chad's into the two, two, game, two box game, Mark. So Chad's behind us. Cool. Yeah, and I, I just will say, too, like any of the games that we have out there can be totally you know, tweaked and adapted. They are not necessarily intended to be uh, play off the shelf. You know, we know that every classroom and every student and every learner is going to be unique and different. So taking any of the games as a, as a foundation and tweaking what's going to work for your classes, you know, we are in total support and accept that. Awesome. Thanks, Mark. Um, I like it. We've done whole classes, but we make sure that there's lots of pieces all hidden around. So this allows for kids to be involved in some way. So to modify even for this large group, I know a couple people knew it went by really fast for a virtual breakout for kind of our uh, pilot today. But that could have been something we could have put three different links and then um, different people could have gone to different links. So we certainly can can spread the wealth of finding things for sure and, and allow those kind of mini research groups to be going on. Really great idea, um, Kay Mulder. Um, let's see what else we have. Uh, Tracy says the chat feature would be much less intense with 25 versus <laughs> 148 participants. Probably Tracy, so yeah, um, definitely a different experience. The more clues, the more difficult. You're right, Charles. Separate links, totally, Brenda. Cool, um, one sec, guys, I'm gonna share again. Oop, not that one. Uh, while we're waiting for Wendy to get that, I mean, one of the other elements of the breakout um, EDU experience are the reflection cards that come inside of one of the, the boxes. So along with, you know, in this case, the Hamilton tickets, congratulations, 
um, and our you know breakout signs or anything like that. We have a, a series of reflection cards. Um, so as kind of a, a another you know talking point in the chat, you know one of the reflection cards could be like if you were to add a new puzzle to this game, what would it be and why? So given that you guys still broke out in you know seven minutes or so, but what might be another puzzle that could be in alignment with uh, the game that you guys just experienced? Cool, it looks like chaining together clues. Great, Lindsay. Um, we've got, oh, here, I can make it larger. There we go. If you're gonna add a new puzzle to this game, what would it be and why? Courtney's asked a great question. How many clues can you put into, can you put to a box? Any thoughts around that, either in the chat or Mark? Um. Yeah, I mean, m most of the breakout games are a mix, or, or I should say a marriage of the physical and the digital. Um, so, you know, right now the HASP itself has, you know, six six holes on it. So you can put up to six devices on, you know, one uh, box uh, or either one of the boxes. But then a lot of the clues could be digital clues where you're going out and you're solving something online or you're, you're using Google Drawing to embed a secret uh, layer on top of an image or something like that. So, you know, potentially it's it's unlimited, but just keeping in mind of the time frame you're trying to play the game within. So, you know, a typical breakout game is gonna be 45 minutes, but, you know, if you wanna lessen that or lengthen that, you can just add or remove additional clues to, uh, to add or remove from the time. Awesome. Thanks, Mark. Let's see um, some other ideas that we have. Um, awesome. Thanks, Joanna. iPad codes. Uh, put a hasp on the hasp, says Lindsay. Like, <laughs> uh, great idea. Jen has a question about the red text viewer. Um, can't seem to search for the correct term on Amazon to find it. Can you share a bit about how the red text viewer works and also where they can get it, Mark? Yep. I am trying to find one so I can show you. So here we go. So here is. Uh, one of the red text viewers. And so this is kind of like, uh, I am a product of the eighties and I remember getting like spy games and stuff like that at the, the supermarket when I would go with my mom and you would get these little magazines and you would have to uh, push this over uh, a clue in order to reveal a hidden message behind it. So this is one of the things that we started incorporating uh, back in October. Um, we call it a red, red lens viewer. I don't know if that's the correct term, but we are kind of, uh, you know, spearheading that. So, you know, if you're already a Breakout Edu customer, you can just email us at info i n f o at breakoutedu.com, and we can get you um, a link to the replacement store to to get these types of things. So, this is one of the new um, elements inside of uh, the box that was released in October. And then, in addition to that, we've also re uh, released some other uh, rings for the multi lock. So, here's uh, some shape. Or sorry, these are color rings. And then there are also uh, shape rings as well that can be integrated onto each one of the multi-locks because all you have to do with these guys is just take the cap off and then slide off the little end pieces and then just line up the little red uh, notches here to what you want it to be. And then you can adjust uh, whatever you want the combination to be and then just put the cap back on, making sure all the letters are facing the correct way. Awesome. Thanks, Mark. Uh, taking a um, look at the chat, hashtag 80s babies. Google Forms makes a great way to add extra locks. Thanks, thanks, Cassandra. Page one is a password. Second form of the page has the next clue. Lindsay has made her own red text viewer with red cellophane. Awesome. All really great ideas, everybody. Oh, Charles's favorite reflection question is what made you successful today? Let's do Charles's really quick. Does anyone have thoughts around what made you successful in the chat, particularly in this challenging environment with a lot of stuff going on. What made what made this team successful today? Ooh, Sherry's got a good idea while we wait for that to come in. Unique rings with 3D printer. We work together totally, Joanna. Any other thoughts to Charles' question? Thanks, Travis. Participation and collaboration. Wendy's right. So sometimes <laughs> um, volume can be detrimental because it's a lot of voices, but um, it also means it was nice because we got validation. Like 
it was a lot of people and a lot of two, two, twos came up. There was other stuff coming up too, um, as well, but a lot of voices can also mean a lot of people working on it. Caps lock for a chat of this many people, uh, lots of minds working on different clues. So you're right, Lindsay, I would almost say Mark next time if for a virtual one, we could probably do a, a, a difficult one with so many people working on it for sure. Um, and lots of virtual. Um, let's see, Jody's got a good reflection question. What did you hear someone else say that helped encourage someone or move the team along, even if not an answer? Did that happen in chat today for virtual for everyone? Divide and conquer? I like that, Kelly. You're right, you know, there was the three different clues going on at the same time, so there was different answers coming out, um, some incorrect, some... Being on your phone might might be hard. Couldn't multitask with multiple browsers. No problem, Liz. Um, cool. Charles has got another one. What would you do differently next time? How did you work as a collaborative group to be successful? Great questions, Wendy. Good concept, thanks Fox Bright, of no stupid questions or answers. They trigger and cause um, people to get the right one. So it is. it does feel kind of safe to throw out some crazy answers. Particularly in virtual, it's a, it's a, always a little safer to type too. How could you be more successful next time? Thanks, Wendy. Any other good ones in the reflection pack, Mark? Before we move on. Um, well, I mean, there's always like you know, how do you, how did you contribute to your team? Is a good one. Um, you know, for this one, uh, when we're physically with people, this is the one I was like, is what might you do differently next time? Because that's when people usually have a chance to reflect and have conversations around. You know, like, oh, we might, might assign roles, might have people do a uh, note taker versus a scribe and, you know, researcher and all that kind of stuff. Um, so a lot of, a lot of cool things you can do uh, with that. Awesome. Sherry's got video clues that are fun, record a video, upload to YouTube, and then when they get to it, they have to listen to it multiple times. Really awesome ideas floating through. Um, I'm sure many of you are part of the Breakout EDU Facebook group already, but um, these ideas and many, many more, as well as games, are available if you haven't joined that yet. Um, awesome. Cool, guys. Let's keep going because we have a prize to give away. Um, so, So to be uh, so to be eligible to win um, a prize tonight or this morning um, for our Aussies, um, you need to post your end of game photo. And what we'll do is we're going to drop uh, your we broke out, we virtually broke out a uh, card uh, into the folder here in just a moment. What you need to do is either if you um, have your phone and you have a picture of you on your laptop take a nice selfie of you with your we broke out um and then post that to breakout edu plus your hashtag so hashtag breakout edu plus the one that you made up today hashtag 30 hashtag i got lost <laughs> whatever it might be um that's how you're eligible. And then we'll take a moment and choose randomly from um, the submitted uh, We Broke Out photos to um, pick our winning Breakout EDU box for today. Uh, so give us one second and we'll drop that in. All right, while we wait for your uh, breakout photo to come into the folder, um, and you, if you're in a PJ, absolutely, Sydney, we will take other <laughs> other forms, but we wanted to make sure, if, you're, if this was your first breakout and it was virtual, we wanna make sure you get the full experience of holding up a, a We Broke Out card if you can. Wendy, yeah, cool. we post it um, on the Twitterverse. If you don't have Twitter, um, you can 
post it um, on a medium of your choice and we'll try to look there, but I think we can really only look at Twitter given our time right now. So there's a, there is some time to make a quick Twitter account if you haven't yet. Um, the card's coming, Cassandra. Give us three seconds. All right, all of the cards are coming into the chat. Here it comes, sorry, there we go. So choose a card in the chat that I've just put into chat. It's bit.ly slash break me out. Uh, grab one of those cards, virtually take a picture of yourself um, smiling or GIF if you want uh, and post that onto Twitter. You're right, Angie, with a uh, hashtag breakout edu plus your hashtag that you made up tonight. Did not work. Uh -uh. All right, guys, try now. I dropped directly to the Google Drive folder. Try again. Meanwhile, we'll head to Twitter and take a peek at our entries. All right, guys, we are going to drop in. Sorry, for some reason, YouTube live chat. Oh, that worked now. Yay, Kate. Yay, Robin. Okay, it works. So grab one of your We Broke Outs. Drop it. Hashtag breakout edu plus your hashtag for today. And they're also in, in the folder as well. So we'll give just a moment for that. How do I put one of the cards with my selfie? English with Miss Hansen, um, you can pull it up on your laptop and take a selfie with it. You can um, do a few things, or you can just put like uh, Samantha in her PJs. You're welcome to just put a GIF as well. Michelle, yeah, we can, we'll send a follow up uh, for all of our webinars. You can get a one hour um, PD credit for it. So look in your follow up email and you can redeem um, for your hour here. What's the hashtag, Carla? It's your own hashtag. So you're going to make your own hashtag up. So hashtag breakout edu and then your own hashtag. If you didn't make one up earlier, make one up now that celebrates uh, the joy of winning today. Yes, Sonia, you could totally hold up a paper. I like the, I like the ideas coming through. Done, says Elizabeth. All right, if Elizabeth is done, then we're ready. So let's go and see Elizabeth's post. And then we'll give just a couple more minutes so everyone can get theirs in to be eligible to win. All right, on screen, look at, check out Brenda. Looking awesome. Got your breakout selfie. Hey, Jeff. Awesome, Amy. Thanks, Kristen, for coming. Yay, Miles, Nebo EdTech, your team came. I wonder who had the most people playing together. Look, Miles brought a buddy. Who thinks they had the most uh, folks that they brought with them tonight? Done. James, your first time breakout EDU. Awesome. 
Awesome, Tracy. Oh, Sonia, I like yours. You wrote it. <laughs> Just what you said you would do on chat. That looks great. Nice, Sherry. Way to, way to be. Thanks, Kendra. Thanks, Maria. All right. I'll give just 30 more seconds. Get your selfies in if you guys want to win the box. Sherry, you posted three times. It's okay. It, it looks good. Hashtag Miles8383. What a guy. Thanks, Elizabeth. Don't leave yet. We've got a few more things for you guys. Jen, we'll wait for you. Uh, Jody, hashtag breakout, so we can search it here. Okay, the half of you, half of you works. Oh my gosh, Chantal, you made your own your own card. That looks fantastic. Oh man, Casey did it upside down. <laughs> Thanks, Chantal. You did post it. We see it. It looks really good. We got a Bitmoji reaction. Katie, yours looks great. Awesome, Heidi. Yay, Jody, you did great. All right, guys, I think we're just about ready to, to pull our winner. Yay. Wait, wait, now I need to see Sydney's PJ selfie. Hang on. Wait, Sydney, I'm waiting for your PJs. I don't see. All right, I'm, we're not finishing, Sydney, until we see your PJs. Hang on. Last chance. Sydney, we're not moving without you. Where are, where are you, Sydney? No, I don't have you yet. Um, music girl, hashtag breakout edu, not at. Miss Spicer, you're doing great. You need, to, it's okay, Joanne, you're trying. Now's a great time to try. We'll wait for you, Joanne. If you're new to Twitter, I think some people are brand, brand new to Twitter. All you gotta do, post that selfie right here. Add image. And then just make sure you have hashtag breakout edu. Oh, Sydney, we do have your picture then. Okay, you covered them with your laptop. All right, we just want to make sure we had you, Sydney. The, the game can continue. We're perfect. Okay, last chance. We're going to choose. All right, and by random drawing, see if you can find a drum emoji because it's about to go down. Who wins our breakout EDU kit of the night? You're all eligible for breaking out. Oh, Susan, yours is so cool. Susan made an Android of herself. Ah. And the winner, are you ready? Oh my gosh, here we go. Is, thanks Lauren, I needed that. Oh, Cassandra, you found it. You found the drum emoji, thank you. It's Christina, at C-A-I underscore mommy. You win. Awesome. So our two winners tonight were CAI um, underscore mommy and then also Nicholas Cochran. So we will follow up with you guys to make sure you get your breakout EDU box. Um, we have a few more things before you head out.
Oh, here we go. Cool. Um, so thank you guys. Thanks so much for trying out a virtual um, breakout EDU with us tonight. We have a few more things. Uh, there you are. Cool. So thank you for your end of game photo. And it's OK. Um, if you're in the chat, share if you have failed at a breakout before and anything you might have learned by that. But it's still certainly uh, a great experience to even share the we didn't get it or we were so close uh, end of game photo. Um, Mark, did you want to share a little bit about the power of breakout EDU with active learning and cultivating grit? And then we'll share um, a special that we have for everyone joining us tonight. Hey, I think you're muted still. Uh, how about now? Yeah, you're here. Hey. Uh, yeah, so you know, with with all the break edu games, I mean, one of the the fun things to see is kids continue to struggle uh, with this little lock that's on that box. And one of the things that we try to to foster inside of um, a break edu experience is uh, the opportunity of grit and kind of uh, overcoming failure because the lock is such a it's such a, a tangible type thing. It's so, you know, we perceive it to be so simple, but when people are trying to open it up and they can't open it up and they get frustrated and they try and try and try again, um, it's much different than when kids are working on a worksheet and they just realize like, oh, well, we're just going to grade this worksheet tomorrow in class. So what's the point of trying and struggling on this one particular problem or question or whatever? So, um, you know, with breakouts, um, it's really about, uh, you know, fostering and creating a safe environment uh, for failure in a classroom and having the opportunity for kids to you know persevere through that failure learn from it and then really kind of work in a collaborative type environment because learning styles are going to be different for a uh, any any student we can't just uh, use the exact same approach for every single one and so you know with this um, as the facilitator of a breakout edu experience in your class you're able to kind of take a step back and see the learning happen in a much more uh, unique and fun fashion uh, versus everyone just sitting down and you know filling in bubbles on a worksheet or or something like that and i'm sure that the chat is kind of uh, echoing some of the things that they've experienced we've heard you know some some, some great success stories with uh, what break edu can do um, in teaching and learning um, it's just one of the things you have to try um, and you know Putting a breakout edu box in a classroom uh, really fosters, uh, you know, really all those four C's. But then also, you know, with the the release of uh, the digital uh, breakout edu platform, it's a way that you can kind of uh, exponentially reach a whole lot more students. Because with the breakout edu digital games that we have online, you as the teacher can create a, a breakout game, kind of similar to what we did. Um, but then share it out with you know all the students in your classroom, so that way they're working in collaborative groups, but solving a digital puzzle online, um, in perhaps in marriage with a physical box um, in the classroom as well. Awesome, thanks. And where can they go if they didn't win one tonight, Mark? Uh, you go to store.breakedu.com or just breakedu.com. You can kind of take a look around there, and um, you know we have a couple of different uh, kit options that are available. Um, but they're all listed on the websites. Um, and then if you are a school and you're looking to, uh, you know, want to get some for with a PO or anything like that, you can uh, also uh, just uh, navigate around. There's a link there to get uh, information about uh, getting a, a PO to us as well. Awesome. And we have a special discount for everyone who broke out with us tonight. Since you all broke off, uh, we have EdTech Team 25. If you put that into the store, uh, $25 off for a limited amount of time. So if you've been thinking about if uh, now is the time to get one, hopefully you were inspired tonight. Or if you already have one at your school, you can gift one or maybe get one uh, to quite a few of you shared uh, strategies for multiple games going on at the same time. You can try Mark's two box combo that's coming out. So um, lots of reasons that you could get one. And Mark, have you? is there anything to share about if a school wants to get a lot of them with like a 10 pack or you want to emulate this um, at a school wide level? Yeah, school wide level, we have uh, different packs that are available. We have the the, the class pack and the, uh, what's it called, the, the school bundle. Um, you know, it's kind of scales up because right now the breakout edu boxes come with um, access to the digital 
game creator and access to subject aligned games as well. So as you start scaling that, um, you know, we're able to, you know, uh, share some of the cost savings onto there because uh, of just the, you know, the, the multitude of scales and stuff like that. So, um, you know, if you want more information about any of like larger district pricing or something like that, you can just email us at info, I N F O at breakoutedu.com. And, you know, we're a small team of five former teachers that are, uh, you know, working on this little project. Awesome. Thanks, Mark. Um, there's a question if uh, Sharice received a grant and purchased eight kits. That's awesome. And you used the deal with our recent, pur recent purchase. Thanks, Sharice. Sharice, if you have any tips for writing grants or getting donations, feel free to share the, that in the chat. Um, we did have a question from Heather. Will that code work with a school PO, Mark? Yep. Just make sure you put it on the PO and we will uh, we'll accept that. Um, we don't have a way to you know, give you a quote or anything like that with the uh, discount included, but you can just go to uh, breakedu.com forward slash purchase order, and uh, you can receive a quote for any one of the bundles that I mentioned. And then when you uh, when you make out your purchase order, just uh, include that EdTech Team 25 code, and uh, that'll that'll totally work. Awesome, great. Sherry got it, grabbed a piece of pizza, so now she's got it. So thanks, Sherry. Any other questions for Mark, everybody? Thank you so much for sharing all of your great ideas in the chat. We'll archive the chat so you can maybe take a moment and see how that all unfolded. We'll send you the archive. Um, and we hope to see you um, on the Breakout EDU Facebook community. We hope you grab yourself a box or um, your school a box uh, if you're a parent or like Maria's donating to um, her school. So thank you. Thanks, guys. Nice work tonight. Now you're going to go see Hamilton, right, Mark? That's right. <laughs>